Waves powerful enough to swallow buildings. Wind strong enough to uproot trees from the earth. Hail large enough to crack a car window. These are just a few of the ways that severe weather can unleash its wrath and cause immense damage. I'm most of the time just awed by the power and sometimes the fury of Mother Nature. It's amazingly windy here in Chicago. Paul Goodlow is a meteorologist at the Weather Channel. When it comes to reporting on severe weather, Goodlow has covered everything from blizzards in Boston to hurricanes on the Gulf Coast. A meteorologist studies the atmosphere and gives you a forecast, takes their knowledge and takes the information they have and all the tools they have and they predict what the weather will be tonight, tomorrow and even towards the weekend and next week and beyond. There are many instruments that meteorologists use when studying the weather. For example, thermometers, barometers, anemometers, and much more. But one of the key tools for today's meteorologist is a computer loaded with professional weather forecasting software. Yep. The software produces forecasts this about what the weather might be for the next several days. Forecasts are made by taking current weather data, temperature, air pressure, wind speed, and other factors, and running that data through a series of mathematical formulas. The thinking right now is rain across the southeast by Monday evening. The then end result is a weather forecast for a certain period of time in a certain area of the world. The most common computer models you might hear about on your local weather forecast are the American model and the European model. They all tell you the same thing. They tell you that what they predict the forecast will be, but it's like a cake. You have, you know, chocolate cake, you have German chocolate cake. They're all cake, but they have different recipes. So the American model and the European model, they have different recipes for taking that starting point of the information and then the end point of what they predict the forecast will be. When Hurricane Sandy ravaged the New Jersey shoreline and New York City, the American model was more accurate than the European model. When a blizzard covered the city of Chicago in early February of 2015, the European model had a more accurate prediction. Getting the prediction right is critical, especially for big, dangerous storms like hurricanes. When it comes to hurricanes, I'm amazed at just the size of these things. I mean, these things are just incredible forces, incredible engines of energy, and it's really, truly, just the atmosphere's way of trying to equalize that energy. For the most dangerous severe storms, meteorologists rely on a group of trained aviators called hurricane hunters who fly directly into severe storms to collect data. The most important piece of data that we get in these storms are from the drop zone, which is a small instrument that we actually release from the bottom of the airplane. It goes all the way down to the sea surface and basically gives us a vertical profile of the atmosphere. The data gathered from the storm's vertical profile is then fed into computer models to predict a storm's path. Doppler radar is another piece of technology essential to making accurate weather forecasts. It can detect objects falling from the sky, such as rain, hail, and snow. It can also detect wind speed or wind direction. Doppler radar and other data can help meteorologists determine that a tornado may be developing. When it comes to tornadoes, we'll probably know about 24, 48 hours that we have a risk of seeing that weather. Where that particular tornado might strike, we might only have maybe 10 or 15 minutes notice before we actually see that about to form on radar. Combination of the heavy wind. Meteorologists like Goodlow take their job seriously. To them, it's all about keeping people safe. Goodlow covered Hurricane Isaac in 2012, a powerful storm that hit the same area on the Gulf Coast that Hurricane Katrina devastated seven years before. It really kind of made me think about what my job is, why I'm out here covering this, and hopefully people uh, can get out of harm's way so we will never have the loss of life we had back uh, in 2005 with Hurricane Katrina. Tomorrow, 60 degrees, we're mostly sunny. Here's an activity for you to do. Write down the weather predictions made by your local radio or TV meteorologist for the next seven days. Then, write down what the actual weather was each day. How accurate were the predictions? That's your forecast, everyone.